Hey, hey, welcome back, tribe. This is Ray to practice question number 35, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's jump into it. A school social worker is meeting with a teenager and their parents to discuss the teenager's poor academics and problematic behavior in the classroom. During the meeting, the parents appear to communicate more as a friend rather than an authority figure to their teenager. What best reflects their parenting style? A, authoritarian parenting, B, uninvolved parenting, or C, permissive parenting. You know how we do? Pause the video, reread the, through the question, reread through the answer choices, select your best answer, unpause the video, and then we'll jump into the, the explanation. Okay, if you picked C, you're correct. So let's look at A with authoritarian parenting. This is incorrect. So with authoritarian parenting, this is failure to follow the rules, results in punishment, AKA quick to grab the belt, uh, doesn't really communicate with their children to explain why their behavior is quote unquote bad, um, AKA because I said so, or again, quick to grab the belt. Um, outcome, follow the rules of society, but less happy, uh, less social skills and lower self-esteem. Example, as parents, you want to establish structure for your children to adhere to. Um, if the child breaks the rules or acts up, uh, parents with an authoritarian style of parenting will not hear the child out. They will go directly to punishment. Think of a parent. Uh, think of a parent receiving a call from the school saying that their child got into a fight. Uh, the parent is not talking with their child about what happened to hear their side of the story. The parent is focused on, you know, you're not supposed to be fighting in school. Uh, I don't care what happened. You got me leaving my job early to come down here to the school for this. You're grounded or, you know, quick to grab the belt, you know? So, and, and this isn't one of the answer choices, uh, but notice how this is authoritarian, authoritative. Notice how they both have authority like authority in front of them. Again, authoritative isn't one of the answer choices, but that's the overall preferred um, healthy style of parenting because the authora, the authority is important. Authority is not bad. Authority provides uh, discipline, structure, rules to follow. So it's not like anarchy. We're doing whatever we want, right? And then the tative part, tative kind of being talking. So there's the authority, but there's also the talking. So again, that's not one of these answer choices, but that's the, the preferred healthy parenting style. Authoritarian, they got the authora, meaning authority, the, the rules, discipline, structure to follow those things in society, which is good. But then the tarian, I think of like almost like a dictatorship, like tarian, like a authoritarian is like, a, do as I say and, and follow these rules. And if you don't, you, you, you get punished. We don't care what the reason is or the context or anything like that. So, um, but that's why this one would be incorrect. B, uninvolved parenting, this is also incorrect. Why? So with a uninvolved parenting, a uh, few demands, low responsiveness, little communication. Parents fulfill basic needs for their children but are uninvolved in their life. Outcome, children do the worst and rank the lowest out of all the parenting styles. They have low self-esteem, poor self-control, and less competent than their peers. Ray, why is uninvolved parents considered the worst parenting style? Simply put, the children have no guidance or direction in how to function in life. Our first teachers in life are supposed to be our parents. Without that guidance, structure, and understanding through communicating with our parents, children grow up to, uh, to figure things out on their own. Think about how many challenges and significant challenges can come from that, right? You ever heard that term like babies raising babies, you know, type of thing where think about all the things that we had to go through if we didn't have, you know, that parental figure kind of guiding us through. Think about how many mistakes, think about how many significant mistakes someone can make growing up just because simply they don't know, they don't have that type of direction. And also just to scroll back up a little bit, with uninvolved parenting, focus on this one right here. Parents fulfill basic needs for their children, but are uninvolved in their life. This is really speaking to, um, as the parents uh, got a, they got a roof over their head, they got food on the table, uh, you know, they don't need anything else. And it's like, well, actually uh, talking with them, communicating with them, teaching them, right? And speaking more to the uninvolved aspect, 
they're taking care of all those uh, basic needs. But with the un- uninvolved parenting style, if you were to ask them, hey, uh, like imagine like a, a coworker or a friend of the parent asking them, hey, so, you know, what's going on in your child's life? I don't know. Hey, I heard, you know, your child is into a sport. Uh, how, how are they doing? They're all right. Right? Like you don't really, how about their friend group? What's the thing that your children are focused on? What's the big thing in their world? They got a roof over their head. Right? So that would be uninvolved parenting. Now I'm going to the correct answer to this question. Permissive parenting. This is correct. Why? So few demands on their children. Relationship is more of a friend rather than a parent. So they're nice, friendly, nurturing, communicates, uh, but less structure for their children. Outcome, issues with authority due to poor self-regulation, meaning they struggle to control their behavior. So they act up, uh, which gets them into trouble with authority, low happiness, and they perform poorly in school. Ray, why is being seen as your child's friend a bad thing? Uh, Simply put, boundaries. Uh, parents are the first teachers. Children need to learn to have discipline and structure so they know how to, quote unquote, act right um, or just act accordingly uh, within society and ultimately grow up to become civilized, successful adults. Imagine trying to instill discipline and structure into one of your friends. Think about the natural challenges that could come with trying to accomplish that. The friend sees you as their peer. They're equal. Children need to see parents as the authority figure and adults within society, teachers, law enforcement, etc., cetera, um, as authority figures as well. Those who don't tend to have issues with authority figures throughout life, which results in many different issues. And I put a link to the parenting style video. It'll be down in the uh, description uh, and in the comment section of this video. But it's important because, again, scrolling back up a little bit, permissive parenting is like you're giving permission to your child to kind of function how they want to because it's a friend relationship. And just to really drive this point home, try to instill authority, structure, and discipline with your current friend right now. Like really try as if you were their parent. How likely are they to do it, right? And if they don't do it and you try to enforce some type of uh, discipline, imagine if you if they tried to do that to you. It's kind of like, No, right? So that's why permissive parenting, again, is the correct answer and um, the, the, the cons of this parenting style. And I have one more question for you guys. I'm like, hey, let me throw in a bonus uh, medication question, quick medication question. Um, a social worker is meeting with the client to review and update their treatment plan. The client reports that their psychiatrist recently adjusted their medication regimen by discontinuing Prozac and adding Lexapro. What type of medications are these considered? A, antidepressant, B, antipsychotic, C, anti-anxiety, or D, stimulant? Just like we went over earlier, pause the video, reread the question if you need to, reread the answer choices if you need to, select your best answer, unpause, and we'll dive into it. Okay, if you picked A, you are correct, an antidepressant. Uh, both Prozac and Lexapro are an antidepressant. So uh, if you got it right, great job. And if we didn't get it right, uh, these uh, these questions uh, right, it's okay. This is all part of the learning process. Okay, Tribe, that's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a social work friend because we don't want to be licensed by ourselves. Study groups every Saturday. Click the link in the description, and I'll have all the information for that week. And keep this in mind. You got this. 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 Find a study buddy, whether you're already in university or join our Facebook. Our Facebook, our tribe is growing big. Join the Facebook group, find a study buddy. And that way, when we're going over the information um, with our study buddy, um, that helps the learning process. So, you know, we're hopping on the phone, FaceTime, however you want to do it. And we're discussing the material and really having it sink in. And it definitely goes a long way. All right, tribe, I'll see you next video.